TikTok. If you don't already use this app, the chances are you know all about it. It's safe to say that this morph between Vine and Musical.ly has quite frankly taken over the internet, and the sheer magnitude of TikTok has exceeded beyond belief. This platform is making both creators and viewers millions of dollars. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining how this even works, and more importantly, how you can take a piece of this multi-million dollar pie for yourself. Let's get into it. Instagram, the app which I guarantee every single person watching this video knows about, if not uses on a daily basis, has over 1 billion monthly active users. Huge, right? Well, how many active users do you think TikTok has? Yep, 1 billion. This three-year-old app is now on par with the industry giant Instagram, and the growth of this new platform is not slowing down. The app, which is based around short-form video content, has been around for only one-third of the time that Instagram has. But they have already matched their audience size and are on track to actually surpass Zuckerberg's baby, IG. I have no doubt in my mind that within a few months, TikTok's audience size will have blown Instagrams out of the water and could very well become the biggest social media platform on the planet because it is well on its way. The insane explosive growth of this app has proved that short form video content is definitely in demand. And as the attention span of society goes down every year, the growth of an app like this makes perfect sense. The main advantage of TikTok from a creator standpoint is the massive organic reach which it allows creators to tap into, making it so much easier to go viral and literally build an audience overnight. Unlike other platforms which take months or even years to build an audience, you can upload one viral quality video on TikTok and watch the numbers skyrocket. If you're a fan of Gary Vee like myself, you may have heard him preaching about this app. He's constantly demanding every one of his followers to start building an audience on TikTok before the organic reach of the app is compromised and it becomes harder to grow. <sighs> When I first heard Gary preaching about it, I thought that there was no way the app could be this good. Going viral and building an audience can't be any different from doing that on, say, Instagram or YouTube, can it? Well, I decided to put this to the test, and boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I filmed a video of myself jumping around the house with a broom. Roll the clip. And I edited that video down to a nine second clip, which I could then post on TikTok. Here's the final video. <laughs> Not the funniest of content, but definitely enough to get a chuckle from some viewers. I went ahead and posted that video to TikTok and expected maybe a few thousand views at max. Considering that if I were to post that same video on YouTube or Instagram, I'd be lucky to hit even a few thousand people. <laughs> well, after a few days, guess how many views that video had on TikTok? 8.7 million. <laughs> <laughs> the video, which took me 25 minutes to film and edit all together, got enough views to fill the world's largest sports stadium 85 times and has more views than if the entire Los Angeles was to watch that video twice. <laughs> that one video brought my TikTok account to over 40,000 followers. <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out that I'm not saying any of this to brag. I'm obviously not a talented TikTok creator or anything like that, and I obviously got quite lucky with the algorithms, but I literally just did this as a proof of concept to see if TikTok was really that easy to grow. And safe to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I actually posted that video a few months ago when I first heard Gary Vee talking about it, but as far as I'm concerned, the algorithm hasn't changed too drastically since then, and it's still insanely easier to grow on TikTok than any other platform, hands down. You may be thinking that having all these followers on TikTok isn't really valuable because most of them are just children anyway. And while that is 100% true, the demographic is much lower, having an audience on the app still is quite valuable because it means you can funnel them from TikTok into other apps like Instagram or YouTube. And that way, you can turn your overnight fame into something a bit more sustainable. We saw this exact same thing happen with Vine, with massive creators like David Dobrik funneling their audience from Vine to YouTube, and now look at him, absolutely crushing YouTube. So funneling your audience from TikTok to something that's a bit more sustainable is definitely the move here. And while the demographic is younger and the audience directly within TikTok isn't as valuable, having all these people who know who you are definitely is. So if you can move them across, you're making the right move. And surprisingly enough, that's what pretty much all of the huge TikTok creators are doing right now. We are seeing so many of these influencers going from TikTok to YouTube and starting to get a lot more brand deals and partnerships, which is where they're making all their money. You may be wondering why I didn't try to funnel my audience from TikTok to YouTube. And that's because the content I post on YouTube is so different from what my TikTok audience actually followed me for. So the likelihood of them enjoying my YouTube videos isn't very high. And for me, it's just not worth it in that case. But if you were a TikTok creator who made very similar YouTube videos to what you actually post on TikTok, that's going to be much more effective because the content is the same across both platforms. But for me, that wasn't the case, so I just didn't bother. Now, the millionaire part. 
How does that work? I said in the beginning of this video that both creators and viewers are collecting the bag from TikTok and this is how. Firstly, from a creator standpoint, being a TikTok influencer is a goldmine. Just like all other social media platforms, TikTok influencers are approached by brands in order to promote their product in exchange for a fee. This is usually known as a brand deal or a partnership, and the sum that these influencers can receive can be pretty hefty if they have a big audience. The price which influencers will receive for a product promotion depends entirely on the size and engagement of their following. For some context, I've heard that the larger TikTok accounts with over 5 million followers are being offered upwards of $50,000 for a product promotion, which is absolutely crazy, especially considering how fast you can build a big audience on TikTok and start walking into these massive brand deals. We all know about brand deals though, that's nothing new. That's been happening with Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, pretty much everything since the dawn of social media. But the one thing that is fairly unique to TikTok is song promotion. Being a platform based around short clips which are commonly played over a popular song, it's no surprise that many music artists have had their big break through their song going viral on TikTok. If you've heard of the song Roxanne, this is exactly what I'm talking about. A dance trend to this song went viral on TikTok. TikTok and absolutely exploded the popularity of this track on Spotify, Apple Music and pretty much every streaming platform out there. Roxanne now has over 500 million streams on Spotify and according to this royalty calculator that's over 2 million dollars in revenue just from the Spotify streams alone. And because TikTok can be the golden goose of song promotion, a lot of artists will pay large TikTokers to post videos with their music in hopes of the video going viral and the song getting a lot of traction from that. I myself got offered over hundred dollars to do exactly this and my account is tiny with only 40,000 followers. Imagine what people like Charlie D'Amelio with over 30 million followers are getting offered to promote a song. As well as this, creators can earn money on TikTok through live streaming. As while streaming, viewers can donate gifts to you which can then be redeemed for cash in the app. With only a fairly small account, you can make hundreds of dollars live streaming. And that's what a lot of TikTokers have been doing to make money on the app. Now, we know how creators are collecting the bag and making that TikTok bread, but how can the viewers do it? After all, most of you watching this video probably don't want to become a TikTok creator. So how can you make money from behind the screen? The easiest way to capitalize, in my opinion, is to make TikTok compilation videos and upload them straight to YouTube, earning money through the ad revenue which the video will generate. If you've ever been a YouTube creator, you know how strict they are about using copyrighted music in your videos. And YouTube don't actually let you earn money from your videos if it's full of popular music, which unfortunately for us makes it a lot harder to make TikTok compilation videos, considering that most TikToks are with a popular song in the background. The way around this though is to compile TikTok videos which are labeled with original sound, instead of those with a music track behind them. This means that 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 TikTok video doesn't have a song but instead has a sound straight from the camera or something like that. Here's an example. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Notice how there isn't any music behind that video? That means that making a compilation video with this type of content is completely within YouTube guidelines and you're going to be able to earn from ad revenue off these type of videos. You may be thinking that it's going to be so much harder to find TikTok with original sound and while there are less of these than there is TikToks with music, I can scroll the app for literally 10 minutes and find heaps of original sound videos. So it's actually not really a problem. You can take all these TikToks that you've saved, compile them into one video using something like iMovie and upload that straight into YouTube. If you have a good video description with lots of keywords and even include popular creators into your video, the likelihood of you raking in a large amount of views is actually pretty high. And from that, you can cash in that beloved ad revenue. <laughs> if you can get 100,000 views per compilation, which is actually low considering what some of these other views are getting, with the YouTube average CPM of $3, that means you can earn $300 per video, which is actually quite considerable because this is not a hard job. I am, however, seeing more and more people start to try this out. So if it's something you can see yourself doing, start ASAP because you do not want to miss this train. <laughs> Now, if you're like me and you're always thinking about that blessed e-commerce, we can also earn money through TikTok by dropshipping with influencers. It's the same way this is done with Instagram influencers, but instead of using Instagram, you're using TikTok. People have been trying this for months with quite little success due to the fact that TikTok didn't let creators have a link in their bio where people could go to a website. But now, in the last week, they've actually added this feature. So now, TikTok influencers can have a link in their bio and take you straight to a dropshipping store, which is perfect for us. Obviously, the audience demographic is much younger on TikTok than something like Instagram or YouTube. So if you are dropshipping, you want to focus on products that have that wow factor and something that kids are going to want to beg their parents to buy for them. Because at the end of the day, it's not the kids slapping their wallet on the table to buy your products, they're doing that with daddy's credit card. If we take a product like this beanie, which I've actually seen TikTok creators wear in videos, and make a store around this product, we can then pay influencers to promote it with a video. You would want them to make a video which suits all their other videos, and something that could potentially go viral, because going viral is key here. It's like hitting the Instagram explore page on an ad. If that's ever happened to you, you know that 
that the sales are insane from that. And the same goes for TikTok. If the video goes viral, you're gonna be raking in that revenue. If you're trying to make money on TikTok, but you don't wanna be in front of the camera, this is definitely what I would recommend you do. In my opinion, this is more sustainable than the YouTube strategy I just talked about. And while TikTok influencers are still cheap to promote with because the app is new, it is hands down the best time to take advantage of this from a dropshipping standpoint. So find a viral product, contact TikTok influencers, negotiate a deal and make that bread. If you guys wanna see me try out the concept I just talked about as a challenge on my YouTube channel, drop a like down below and I'll do it. There are millions of ways to make money online and using TikTok is no exception. Whether you're a creator or a viewer, you can absolutely crush it using this growing app. And like I said before, if this is something that you're interested in, start ASAP because this opportunity is definitely not gonna last forever. Now, yesterday I put up an Instagram story that said this. Alrighty, a lot of you guys have been asking me if you can be in the videos and now's your chance. You can say literally anything you want and I'll put you in the video, go. And I thought it would be funny to read out some of the things you guys said. So let's do that now. By the way, you all went crazy on this story. I got so many responses. Literally way too many to read in one video, but I'm going to scroll through and pick some at random It'd be rude not to start off with the top quality comedy. So first up we've got anything <laughs> You should do stand-up comedy pure genius 2020 I'll bring a rain of money you bet massive helmet cheese nosher 5,000 um, what's up with Corona? Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? It's had a big impact on my dropshipping business. Make sure you guys are all wearing your masks and staying safe out there We do not want anyone with Corona. Baxter hair is sexy. Oh, Finally, it's not a hate comment about my hair. Let's go. Ty Lopez is overrated. Do not speak ill of the king. Just this, uh, You should create a flipping series. I will. My name is Amir. Afternoon. The goat. I wish you were my sugar daddy. What the f- Love this YouTube channel. Appreciate you. Say cheese. No, I'm just kidding. I can't say that. I'm vegan. Let's get it. Yeet. Yeet. What are the odds you put me in the video? Impossible. You are my dad. Not sure if that's a compliment or not, but thank you. You are the CEO of sh jokes, you potato looking f That's probably the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Thank you very much. Instructions unclear, now sitting on the TV and watching the couch. Yoo-hoo! Where's your mama? That's actually my mum that sent that in. <laughs> If mustard tastes like defecation, would it then be correct to refer it as mustard? This is one of the top 10 questions that science cannot answer. I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask my boy Bill Nye about that one because I'm just not certain. Hebby jebbies, febby webby, I like pudding. Fair enough. Love you. Love you too. I owe nothing to say except you're the goat, my guy. Appreciate you. You loyal. Last one for the day, 2020, I'll bring a rain of money. Let's hope that we all do that. I think that's a good positive note to end on there. Safe to say, I have quite frankly lost faith in humanity after reading a lot of those. But regardless, they were pretty funny. I'm gonna keep putting this type of stuff on my story, so make sure you follow me at EconBaxter so you can be included in the next one. Also, if you have a question about anything at all, send me a DM on Instagram. I respond to every single message. And for now, that's the end of the video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hello, God of fake gurus here. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Before you go though, Baxter was wondering if you could like the video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn notifications on. Now, time to go ride in my rented Lamborghini. Bye.